Hey there guys, it is 88 uh, Shadow Angel here and today I'm going to bring you uh, the up to date version of uh, how I paint uh, red or red armour uh, specifically for I suppose Blood Angels but you can use this technique for many other things but uh, it's like I say it's mainly designed uh, or thought towards uh, that kind of crimson reddish armour that Blood Angels have um, and so yeah, so uh, I'm going to be using um, my uh, scratch built um, Festen stand-in model, uh, which I'll do a thing on later on when he's all finished. Uh, but right, so to start off with, uh, you're going to want to use uh, this, uh, which is Festen red. Uh, it's a really really good paint if you haven't for some reason used it already to paint to at least do a base of red and yeah uh, so we're going to paint this on the armour plates and uh, come back when it's done so, okay. uh, so here we are guys so uh, this is what it should look like uh, once you've painted all the all the red bits all the red pieces of armour and everything else but, uh, so once this is dry, so once the Festin Red's dry, uh, what you want to do is then grab this, which is Agrat's Earth Shade, and uh, give it a. I usually find giving it a medium-ish wash uh, to get in all the nooks and crannies and things like that uh, really does well for uh, giving that kind of. Uh, I suppose somewhat shadow to the uh, to the armor and yeah so uh, I will go put this on and um, once it's dry I'll come back and show you see you in a bit guys so here we are guys so the wash is now dry and uh, hopefully this can kind of focus this a bit so as you can see a lot of the detail has now been bought out so all the fibres in the chest guard and obviously the blood angel symbol and everything else so from here uh, we're going to go back to um, a fest in red um, what you want to do with this is not like repaint it as you did with the base coat but just uh, neaten up the flatter areas so stuff like where the shoulder pad is seems so much to focus so basically any raised area basically because that's not going to focus um, um, stuff like that so uh, I'll go ahead and do that and then come back in a bit so see you then so after that's now done guys, uh, as you can see the red's kind of brightened up a bit more in terms of the uh, camera is refusing to uh, it's a bit better. Uh, so as you can see, smooth the red out a bit uh, so you can see the darker areas a bit better. So from here, uh, what we want to do is... Uh, so from here... I really don't know what's up with this today. Uh, so from there, uh, we're then going to go with this, Evil Sun Scarlet. Um, now this is a really cool paint uh, that obviously came, uh, was released with the new range, uh, which is a really nice uh, paint that sits uh, just in between uh, what used to be known as Blood Red and I think it's Blazing Orange. So it's a really reddish orange and works really well as a highlight for, for uh, this. So. Uh, we'll uh, 
put the uh, highlight this up and come back in a bit. See you. All right. So after you've applied the highlight, you can just make them out. I think because uh, the camera is because it's red, will make it, he's making it look a bit brighter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so uh, the way I found best to bring this back, uh, obviously less orange because it will look a bit orange at this point <coughs> oh, bless me well excuse me pardon me either way um, is to do a wash of this uh, called a blood letter uh, it's glaze uh, what this does is it really ties uh, the, or the, the orange and uh, the befest in red together and gives you quite a nice base for a red. It gives you quite a nice strong red colour. And, uh, and yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, and once again, come back after uh, it's dry and show you the final part of this uh, of this paint of map, of this tutorial. Uh, so yeah, catch you in a bit, guys. So here you are, guys. So as you can see. Uh, well, kind of. So you can kind of see uh, the red wash has uh, just blended it all in together. Uh, and then for the final uh, part, what you want to do is add some of this with uh, Car Caraber Crimson. Uh, now this will really darken down the uh, red and everything, bring everything really together and give you that really nice uh, crimson finish. Um, one tip I'd give with this is uh, try not to use it in like one quick uh, thick layer it may take I would say try a couple thin layers and get it to a point of red that you can't you know that you're happy with and uh, things like that because it can uh, uh, I think of the word um, pull up quite easily this paint um, and stuff like that so uh, just be a bit wary of that but like I say, if you go off in thin layers and uh, keep it somewhat nice and smooth and things like that, there's no problem. Um, so I'll be back after, show you what this looks like once it's all dried and everything like that. Uh, and I'll also show you uh, one of my models, that, one of my other Blood Angel models that I finished uh, with this technique and things like that. And show you what it looks like when it's all finished up and you've added all your other details and bits. Um, so yeah, so I shall see you back in a bit. Hey there guys, so here you go. So this is the finished uh, overall look. So as you can see it's quite a crimson-esque uh, colour. Uh, and once you get all the other bits of detail and stuff on here it all really uh, kind of pop for you. Uh, as I shall show you now. Uh, so, this is one of my finished uh, tactical marines. Uh, the Blood Angel, obviously, tacticals, tactical marines. Uh, being used for the, exactly the same way. And, like I say, once you've got all the details and everything finished, you'll, have, you'll end up with uh, this really nice crimson colour. And on a battlefield, they really do uh, look quite cool to have that really nice crimson esque. Yeah, that's a bit better. So, there you go, guys. So, it's a fairly, well, I won't say a quick vid, uh, but that is the uh, up to date version up-to-date version with all, all the new and current paints that GW do uh, of way I paint uh, my Blood Angel armor 
or crimson red armor is what I may call the vid. That's just what I will call the vid. Um, and yeah, like I say, it works really well for Blood Angels uh, in terms of their armor because it makes them a bit. It gives them that bit more uh, proper blood red armor. And, and yeah. Uh, so. Uh, so there you go guys uh, as always thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing uh, as I've said before uh, if there are any colours that you are either stuck on or looking for ways of how to paint to make it look um, look good then uh, by all means drop it in the comment section and uh, I should do my best to to do a, to do a tutorial on it uh, the next tutorial vid, I already know what it will be, uh, which will be uh, one for blue, or blue armour. Uh, I'm already in the works of uh, doing that one, kind of. Uh, as well as uh, a few other bits and pieces to come, and things like that. So, uh, hopefully I can get them up a bit quick. Uh, well, hopefully I can do a few more vids sooner than later and yeah thank you for all the continued support guys it means a lot thank you so much uh i shall catch you again next time um yeah stay safe and see you later bye